everyone! Thank you for watching this video. This is Sheva from Bear Mix Bujo over at Instagram. For today, I have a um, design theme project share for you. And this is for chapter 1 paper. So Sue and Jan asked me to work on a couple of um, projects for them using their beautiful digital kits. Now I know um, if, if you're familiar with my Instagram account, you know that I use a lot of their digital kits. And so I was very happy to um, collaborate with them and use their kits because I already am using them um, for several projects. So this is the first one and I chose the French drawing room kit for this particular project. I'll show you uh, what, it, what it is in a little while. But if you also want to use this particular digital kit, there will be a discount code. Um, all of the details will be in the description box below. So I'm calling this the French door ephemera holder um, because it has that opening and I'm using the French drawing room digital kit from um, chapter one papers. So I will show you what's inside, but this is the front cover. It's um, made entirely from at least the base is made from a one page, um, you know, uh, one page paper. And um, I'll show you how I put it together, but that's basically the base. So in the front cover, um, I have this beautiful pink um, wallpaper uh, printable. So that's the base for the journal and then i just added these bookends but that's totally optional the closure is just this pink twine and then i uh, also included some danglies um i used a key because it's a door <laughs> so i thought it would be cute to have a key in there so that you can open the door and then this label um, is also part of the kit um, together with this one, the small one, and this is a floral cutout. So I thought it didn't need any more than that. Um, and of course, I distressed the sides to give it an aged look. And I think I also used, um, you can't see it well, but it's uh, a gold cream that I also used to add a little bit of sparkle. So this one is just attached using a bulb pin, and then there's some... Um, sequins and um, seed bead in there as well then you just open it like that it's a bow and then the closure can be removed completely then i just have some um uh, those uh what do you call this one gold brackets <laughs> in there just to give a little bit of sparkle and then when you open it so you have three panels um, for this uh, ephemera holder, the two doors, and then the main panel. So I'll go through each panel first. So this panel, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's stitched. So I stitched this part, and then I just um, glued it to this panel. We have a label here, and then this band, this belly band, is also part of the kit. And then I tucked in some vintage um, bus tickets in here. So all of the stuff that I included in the um, ephemera holder would be, you know, vintage bus tickets, vintage documents, and elements coming from the kit. So I'll show you which is which um, as I go through the different elements. So this is um, this one is also part of the uh, digi kit. And if you notice, I printed. Um, this base back to back so this floral um, background here is also part of the kit so I have that for this panel and then the main panel is two parts so you have here this is a flippy this one flips out this is part of the kit together with this um, oval um, element then I just attached it to this bit here on the top the top flap so that it weighs down so this one doesn't flap around um this is this label is also part of the kit and then this is a vintage um, label then when you open it this is also part of the digital kit 
and then I just tucked in um, some vintage um, cigar thing and then uh, a vintage ticket as well so they go inside there and then here um, this could be a journaling spot and then this is also part of the kit and then I just tucked in three note cards that are all part of the kit so here you can see the background wallpaper well so I think it goes really really well with this pink um, uh, the outer um, page of the outer design of the ephemera holder so you just have it there so I just chose three different sizes as well so that you can see it stacked up so this could be you know a journaling space you can write in there um, if you're giving this as a gift to someone you can write their name in there that would be also good and then this one swivels like that and then on this panel instead of doing the belly band in the bottom i made it on top this is also part of the kit this belly band here then this is a vintage ticket then a label here at the bottom so that's it that's the ephemera holder um you can totally add more um, belly bands here you can add another belly band here another one here you can also make this um, into a uh, you can um, glue something here so that it can also be a tuck spot so you can customize this as well however you wish and then how I, I plan to use this is um, I will be adding this to a journal um, that I have so what you can do is you can use this back glue it glue it directly to a page like that or this can also be a really good um, gift to someone part of a happy mail i think i'll be very happy to receive one of these as well so that's it that's the um french door ephemera holder now i'll show you how to uh, make one very it's very simple um, very easy to make i think the sewing is totally optional if you don't um if you don't have a sewing machine that's totally fine because i just glued the element anyway i just um, sewed the sides to add a bit more element so i'll put this to the side so for this um particular uh project i will be using will be using the green version um, not really a green version, but one of the green um, uh, papers that are included in the kit. So for the base, I'm using this one because I really love this green with the white um, stitchings. It almost looks embossed, so it looks really nice. And then I printed it um, double-sided with this um, particular... Um, design so that's going to be our base and then I also pulled some of the green um, elements that are included in the kit so that we can use those so this ones would be we'll be using those of course we'll be using the small um, element the small labels we'll use those we'll see if we can use um, some of this big lace uh, elements so those are the green ones so lots of elements that we can use for our green version all right, let's start. So aside from the digital kit, I'm showing you some of the materials which we will be needing for this project. So there's glue, twine, scissors, and then um, some dangly bits if you want to add them. And then the um, brads for the closure. And then I also have here some vintage uh, ephemera which we can include in the different tuck spots. 
and um, this is totally optional but you can also use a scoring board to score the two side panels um, for your French doors. So firstly, you need to print um, the design back to back and then you need to choose which one um, of the design is going to be your um, front and then or the overall cover and then which one is going to be the inside cover so for me i chose the green one to be the outside um, um, cover and then for inside i chose um, the one with um, white in it and more floral elements so here i think i'm just trimming the um, closures of the two um, for, for the french door because they're um, overlapping a little bit so this time i'm very happy with how it turned out and then the next thing that you need to do is to choose the design or the paper that you will be using for the inside flaps so i chose i think overall i went in the end i went with this green um design because i wanted it to contrast with the um, design that I have in the inside cover. So it pops more um, than the initial design that I was um, planning to use. So once you cut it, um, what I did is I also sewed uh, around the sides, but that is totally optional. That is just for um, additional design element um, texture for your ephemera holder. So that's what I did. I um, did a zigzag design um, for both of these side panels and then um, when I come back I'll show you yeah so this is how it looks and then you just need to glue them into the side panels um, I really like this glue um, for some reason so this is my chosen glue I switch um, to different brands of glue whenever I do projects but this is a, a staple um, the tacky glue uh, this is a staple for me because it sticks and it's really really good and I like the one that's um, upside down because it's easier to I think easier to squeeze out the glue so I am putting them um, in the side panels and then I think the next step that I will be doing is cutting out the different elements um, top spots belly bands to include um, in this side panel and then same process for the middle um, design for the middle panel uh, i just chose um, different elements from the digital kit to put together the flip um, the up flip and then the pocket at the bottom so um, I think at this point, everything will be pretty self-explanatory. So I will come back at the end of the video and I will turn you over to music.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 